Hey everybody, welcome to December. Holy cow, I cannot believe half of our program is already over. That is insane. Um, as we enter the holiday season, please remember that we're trying to stay on track and stay on track as much as you can. That was the number one feedback that I got from a lot of people last year was you fell off track during the holiday season. And I just want to encourage you, if that's something that you want to do and you're motivated to do, please try and stay on track as much as you can. If you need further assistance from me, please email me. I will help lay out a very, uh, detail oriented plan for you, for us, to do it together. Um, if you need an accountability partner, I'm certainly happy to be that person for you or we can find someone to do it with you. Um, but please let me know how I can help you during the holiday season. You can also look into the eat less, move more challenge, which is something that's free and available online. Um, all you have to do is look up eat less, move more, and it's a wonderful challenge. It helps you through the holidays specifically um, to maintain and not to gain. That's its slogan. So if you have questions about that particular type of, um, resource, please let me know. I'm here to help you. Other than that, our three challenges for the month of December are follow-up challenges from last year that I got a lot of feedback from and people really enjoyed. So we're going to continue the holiday kindness challenge or the Christmas kindness challenge, however you want to look at it. Um, you can edit those things as you see fit. If you don't have the capability or the means to purchase something like socks for the homeless, you can certainly donate clothes. Um, you can do whatever is within your means and still get points. So please don't feel like you're strapped to um, fit that specific criteria. Uh, you can certainly bake cookies for the fire department. You can bake cookies for the homeless. You can you can edit it as you see fit as long as you're following within those guide guidelines of just being kind and helpful and, and loving and caring. Um, that's really all this challenge is about. So however many days you complete is how many points you get, just like usual. You complete five days, you get five points. You complete all 31 days, you get 31 points. Um, just as usual, you enter those points. You don't have to send me a calendar. Your second challenge of the month is same as last year. We're bringing back the Christmas movie workout challenge. So um, that's one week challenge. So however many movies you complete within that week is how many points you get. You can only get up to seven points. So say you do a movie a, week, a day. For a week, you get seven points. If you do one movie, you get one point. Um, and I hope that you guys try that that challenge out. I got a lot of great feedback about that last year, and a lot of people really loved it. So hopefully, we'll have more participants this year. Um, and you can modify that challenge as you need to, as well. Um, if you need to do girl push-ups, you need to do whatever it is. You don't have to do those specific exercises that's provided on the sheet. You can make shift and and adjust how you see fit. If you have a knee injury, then just do upper body. If you have a um, an upper body injury, then just do lower body. You can certainly participate at your own um, means and your own navigation of sorts. The third challenge is a complaint jar challenge, and this is a new challenge for y'all, and I hope that you enjoy it. So the way this works is you put in, um, you have two different colors of paper, or you can just do two different colors of writing, whatever you prefer. You make your own pretty little jar, and you put it, you can use it for your classroom too if you want to. Your students can participate with you. Um, and you write something you're grateful for throughout the day. It can be multiple times, but the goal is for by the end of the day for you to have more gratefuls in your jar than complaints. So remember that you're keeping track of both complaints and gratitudes. So I encourage you as teammates, if you hear someone say something maybe negative, then you politely say why don't you write that down and put that in a jar and then come up with two more positives to overcome that negative. So that's essentially the task for you to be able to get a point is for you to have more positives in your jar than negative per day. So every day that you achieve that, you get one point. Um, if you do that every all day, not all day, every day, every 31 days, you get 31 points. So same philosophy, you just have to have more positives than negatives in your jar. Um, and if you want to give a compliment to somebody on your team, you can certainly put that in their jar as well for a little surprise that you're grateful for them or you're grateful for something that they did or something that they brought to the table that day, um, whatever. Just spread some joy to other people by putting something in there that you're grateful for in their jar um, as well as your own. 
have some fun with it. Decorate your jar. Have your kids decorate their jar, your jar, however you want to function it. It's completely up to you in decorating your jar. I hope you enjoy that challenge. Um, it's something new that we're trying, so please bear with me as we try these new challenges. And we are having mid health assessments coming up in January or February. So please be on the lookout for those emails so you can catch me. You get extra points. You get more points than you did last year for attending the mid health screening. And that's not blood work, so it won't take long. It'll take probably five, 10 minutes at the most. Um, so please, please, please come by and see me. We'll just do body composition. I'll check in with you. Um, it's really just your way to check in with me and for me to help you reach your goal by the end of the year. Um, so that's your time and nobody else's time that will be taken away from you. So I hope that you will, um, come see me. And if you, as always, if you have any questions, please let me know. Happy holidays to everybody. I hope you're safe. I hope you enjoy your time with your family. Um, it's certainly a precious time of the year. So please, please enjoy it. Happy holidays.